Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Um, I want to do a quick little, it's sort of a Git Game Maker Studio issue. And that's when you're working with Git version control, sooner or later, you're going to have merge conflicts. Or you're going to have something where you get these kinds of research, resource load failures encounter. And let's take a look at the actual thing and see if we can resolve it. And then we'll have a solution for it. It says resource files malformed and it's object slash object duck target slash object duck target yy and then we have the objects object duck object duck dot yy so both uh, duck related objects and it will say on this it says an item with the same key has already been added an item with the same key has already been added so what is the same key what are we talking about here so let's see if we can figure out what the heck is going on with this key I'm gonna do a little exploration and I'm gonna come back to see what my solution is this is the folder. I'm going to go into objects, object duck, object duck target, and object duck target dot yy. This is the one we have the key. So we're going to open this with the text editor. And I'm going to click on more apps and look for Notepad++, or we'll just use Notepad at this point. Actually, I'm going to use the Atom editor for this. So let me, I'll come right back and open that up. Atom is a great editor. Um, which I apparently have not downloaded. So I'm going to re-download that and use it. Um, Adam, Adam.io, and I'll just show you real quick where that is. I highly recommend you get this particular editor. Atom.io, and you just click on download. And once you get it downloaded, it'll work just fine. And I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. Okay, here's the Atom editor. I just downloaded it. We're going to go ahead and open the folder. We'll just open the file, excuse me, and I'll show you what that looks like. Here we are in our game maker project. And let's just close a couple windows and get object duck.yy. Uh, all right, we have an ID here and an ID here. Um, and so it looks like it's an original way of identifying certain objects. And so we have to just figure out what the heck is going on with this particular one. I think I know what it is. I'm going to open up file, open file, and I'm going to open up the shooting gallery YYP. And you'll notice there's a section that says resources. And if I collapse it, everything gets collapsed. So the resources have a key and value pair. And then you'll see a resource path. So what we want to see is we want to find the resource path that has object duck. So I'm going to do a little search, object duck, and I'm going to hit enter. All right, so first of all, you'll see this object duck target. That's good enough for me. So what I want to do is I'm going to copy this whole thing, control C, and put it in here and see how many results there are. Ah, here it is. I bet anything that's what it is. We have two results found for objects, object duck target. So I'm going to find the first one. And um, I see object duck target, and I see it has a, this is one key, and I see another key. Um, and I'm going to open up the duck target. So I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to right click and just say split left. So I have one on one side, one on the other. I'm going to click on this side, object duck, and I'm going to choose file open. And I want to open up the object duck. There it is, object duck. Oh, I wanted the other one. Sorry, wrong file. I wanted the object duck target. Okay, so we have here an ID that begins with 15CC6C97. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to see duck target 7B. Okay, so that's one ID, and that's a little different. Let's go back over here, and let's take a look at the next one. And we have 15CC97. Okay, so we have two keys in our resources. And notice they begin with a curly bracket, and they end with a curly bracket and a comma. This one is good because this matches the ID we see over here. What doesn't match is the previous one. So we're going to click find again. We've got to go up now. We scroll back up again. We're looking for the object duck target that is not the one we were looking at before in shooting gallery. Shooting gallery is the one that we want to fix. So we click on the first one, 15CC6. All right, that's the one we want. This is the one we don't want. So I'm just going to go from, see, I'm going to leave that comma there. I'm going to hit backspace, backspace, and go like that. 
I should probably close this. We already know what the two objects are. And now let's go take a look at object duck. So we'll go over here, let's scroll up. And I'm just going to do object duck. One result. Oh, yeah, well, wrong file. OK, I'm looking here, six found. Object duck, object duck. It has a key of DDE. That's the one we want to keep. We want to get rid of the other one. This is the one we want to get rid of. So I'm going to leave it with a comma. And we got rid of it. And now we're going to save our changes. Control S to save. And that saves the file. I'm going to go ahead and close these. And let's try opening it up and see if it's taken care of. Now, of course, the whole thing will crash because whatever. All right, so we open it up. And let's see if we got it. Hey, look at that. No issues. Let's go to the room, room main, and we'll go ahead and run it. I think we did it. We figured out how to clean up those malformed projects. So there we have it. And look at that, 150 points. Way to go. I feel like a winner today. All right, well, good luck. I hope if uh, you're, now, if you're dealing with this, good luck with that. I hope you find it. Let's just do a quick recap. Um, the idea here is this file here, the shooting gallery, is like the master file that tracks everything. Um, and then what you do is you figure out what is the object or what is the thing we're having trouble with. And you want to compare this file right here to whichever object you're comparing that it said it couldn't find or it was malformed. Okay, and then you want to open it with the text editor. Uh, my preference is using the Atom editor right there. Okay, so good luck with that. I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.